Hi guys, this is Ronnie and I'm offering some uh, more advice on replacing windows. And once again, I'm looking at the Witch magazine site. So Witch is a big magazine site, the Witch Awards. It's a big magazine basically for consumers of all sorts of different products. Um, home improvements and so on and everything else so if you log in and pay and register you can get access to more information so here's some information on replacing windows double glazing prices and this is from which magazine and these are typical prices of different double glazed windows and doors so you don't get overcharged So this is through the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors. They've helped with this, and I think it's over 2,000 people or so. Very prices, every home is different. This table shows how much you expect to pay for various stuff. This includes varying sizes, and it, uh, it's also the cost of installation and everything included. So. <clears throat> Let's look at size. So the ones that are mostly put into people's homes nowadays are UPVC casement windows. Less people get wooden and very few people get would have metal put in their home. Um, very few people would maybe even consider the style or the um, the substance used, the substance, the materials used. But for UPVC casement window, here we've got prices for different sizes. Uh, these are in centimetres, 600 by 900 centimetres, 505 pounds on average. That's an average price. Um, 900 by 900, 655. Now, these are quite small. You don't tend to get a lot of windows this size in a house. These are maybe... Windows at the side, windows in a small bathroom, something like that. Uh, moving up, these are starting to get closer to uh, maybe bedroom size windows in this kind of range. And here's your average, and that's that's including manufacture, installation. Uh, it doesn't include extras though, it's just a basic window. I don't even know how many openers that has and that's an important thing. It doesn't really mention openers. And then we go up to £1,200 for, for example, um, probably a window of that size or more. So that's a basically a big living room window. And that is the average it has been paid across the UK. That's up to April. 2016 that that is relevant for for windows of that size okay if we look down we've got sash windows you can see them that's the basically that double the price if you want it to be a sash style N not many people really want that style anymore but it can still be done certain areas need certain types of homes or areas might require a sash window as part of the the style of the area or, or whatever um, and then you've got wooden and so on. We go down, and this is for the second floor. So when you go up to the second floor, there's different things that have to be taken into account. Uh, in some scenarios, um, in some scenarios, they may need to put in. Uh, they may need to use scaffolding, for example. So an extra scaffolding charge. They might need to, definitely, need to redesign the windows in a certain way. For fire or cleaning regulations, they may need to use a tilt and turn style, which is more expensive once again for fire and cleaning regulations. So now you can see that the prices are going up, but just slightly by about 10% or so, just over probably about 15%. Actually, the prices are going up there if you have a look. Um, well, okay. Maybe not as much as maybe yeah, maybe ten percent or so is about right. Um, now, 
that's not including some of the extras. Let's have a think about this here. You can see. Yeah. So that's the extras. So um, probably you have a range of different sizes of windows in your home. With some of them being as much as um, these bigger windows. A number being maybe in the average size range and maybe a few smaller ones in this size range. So it can give you an idea of what you might, what basically the market is saying this is what the average person was prepared to pay for their work after they had no doubt uh, not only assessed which magazine which they were members of so they're already a, quite an informed customer to be part of which magazine but um, they've also they've, as someone that's been involved with which they've probably had a few quotations and so on and they've found that the best service that they could find uh, and with the with the price that matched that was around about these prices so that's some interesting information uh, for you there I've got some more information if you want a more detailed report on all things to do with changing windows and you can go to the windowreport.co.uk and you can get more information there okay thanks for watching this video bye bye